Okay, our last passage is like a lab report. It's a research slash data passage. It gives the steps included in the research. So you're going to approach it kind of like you would a research passage, just uh, quickly skimming the information, looking at the data points, and then going to the questions. In our DRC approach, we treat a lab report as research. Think of it like a report. You're going to read it, um, skim it, make sure you at least know the variables or the steps to the study before moving to the questions. Again, 30 seconds to a minute. So in this passage, we see drilling mud is a suspension of clay particles. When a well is drilled, DM is ejected to lubricate the drill and is brought back to the surface and sprayed on adjacent lands. So you know what drilling mud is. A cover of drilling mud can affect albedo. It's an italic, so you know what it is. The portion of total income in solar radiation that is reflected, which can in turn reflect soil temperature. Okay, and there looks like they're looking from July 1 to 9 in a particular year at albedo and temperature and three plots and tells how much was sprayed and then it says for each plot albedo was calculated on a cloudless day so there's albedo and there's July, June to August and then for each plot sensor the sensor recorded the soil temperature every five seconds so daily soil temperature and the date all right, so you get a basic idea, and then you move to the questions. Albedo is measured at noon because that time of day is when solar radiation is. All right, so albedo, let's first see what that is. It's the, por the proportion of total incoming solar radiation that is reflected from the surface. That's in paragraph two. So it's 100% reflected. Now, nothing's really 100% reflected any time of day. 100% absorbed, no. Least intense or most intense? Well, at noon, we know the sun is most intense, not least intense, so it has to be J. So that's a science reasoning question. Why was the study designed? So an if suppose why question. So the three plot to the same types of vegetation present and the same density of vegetation cover. These conditions ensure that any variations in albedo and soil temperature would most likely be attributed only to variations among the plots in the, so this is a science reasoning question as well about the process. And it says in the second paragraph, the effect of the cover of DM uh, was studied. So that's what they're studying is the effect of DM. So they don't want it to be attributed to anything else. So it has to be A. On one day of the study period, a measurable rainfall occurred in the study area. The albedo calculated the cloudless day. So let's find the chart that uses albedo and that's figure one. Well, just after the rainy day was lower than the albedo cl calculated for the cloudless day just before. So before is bigger, after is smaller. On which day did a measurable rainfall occur? So we can process a, of eliminate the dates. So we'll start with July 10th. Is before bigger? No. After smaller? No. So that's out. July 12th. Is before bigger and after smaller? No. So that one's out. But when we get to July 26, yes, that works. Before is bigger and after is smaller. You probably get to see that in the chart, but you can process and eliminate just to be sure if you need. For each plot, the number of temperature readings, we need the temperature reading chart, recorded by the soil temperature sensor every minute was closest to, and the reading, it tells us that it was recorded every five seconds. So there's 60 seconds in a minute. 60 divided by five is 12. That one's a little bit tricky because you have to find it in the reading. Uh, it's not hard, it's just tricky on a time test. According to figure, figure one and the description of the study was July 20th, a cloudless day. So figure one and the description, July 20th. So July 20th and the description says albedo was collected for each cloudless day. There are no data points for July 20th. So no, albedo was because albedo data was not collected on that day. If it had been cloudless, they would have collected data. Okay, I think this is one of the hardest questions in the test for a timed test. If you had unlimited time, it's pretty easy. Well, not easy, but it's easier. But as is, it's a hard question. According to the results of the study, did the presence of a cover of DM increase or decrease the albedo and the presence of a cover of DM increase or decrease soil temperature? So let's start with albedo. Okay, so find the albedo chart. It's figure one. Now, 
the tricky part is when you look at it, you might just look at one of these graphs and say, oh, well, it looks like it's going up, so it increases, right? Because there's a steady rise. But that's not really how you do this one. You have to actually figure out which plot has dr drilling mud on it because al this measures albedo, not drilling mud. So you have to find from the reading, and it says an amount of drilling mud equivalent to 40 cubic meters per hectate was sprayed evenly on plot two, an equivalent was sprayed on, sp sprayed on plot three, no drilling mud was sprayed on plot one, so plot one is the control. So plot one does not have any. So now we go back up and we see that plots two and three are lower than plot one. So the presence of drilling mud caused a decrease in albedo. Now, so we know the answer C or D. Now we look at soil temperature and soil temperature. We can play plot, compare plot one and two, I mean, two and three to plot one as well. So the temperature is higher for plots two and three, so there is an increase. So your answer is D. And that's just a lot of information to process on a timed test towards the end of the test. Um, and it's just, it's a tricky question because of that reason. And then ACT gives you one more decently tricky question for the end of the test. Based on figure one, figure one on August 3rd, so figure one, August 3rd, what percent of incoming solar radi radiation was not reflected from plot two? So plot two, we go up to on August 3rd, we draw a line over and we see 0 0.20 and you're tempted to enter F, but you have to remember what albedo is. Albedo is the total incoming solar radiation that is reflected. We want to know what is not reflected so 100 minus 20 is 80. So 80% is not reflected. And that's a tricky question for the last one because the distractor is so tempting. And I can tell you a lot of students miss this question.